Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Color 101 here. Also know that the interwebs is Ethan Everhart. And uh, you've either read the title or you've seen this ugly mug and uh, you can tell, yeah, computer is still out of commission. Uh, for those of you who haven't kept up with the, the vlogs here, um, which I don't blame you if you haven't, um, just to catch up to speed. On Christmas day, uh, I had Christmas with the family, uh, came home, found my computer monitor was turned off, which was very strange. I didn't remember turning it off. A uh, quick look down, found, oh, yeah, computer's turned off. I guess that's the reason, but um, that's even stranger because I definitely don't remember turning the computer off. Um, so, okay, let's uh, turn things back on. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, yeah, quick survey of, of the uh, environment and uh, found the uh, oven time, uh, the oven clock is still correct. Scratch that. Uh, it's an hour off, but it's not blinking 12 o'clock. So there wasn't any power power surge or anything like that. No power outage. Um, so, yeah, something's wrong with the computer. Um, I, the, the computer is not one I pre-ordered or anything put together. I built it together with my dad, put it together, got the motherboard, power supply, and all that, put it together. So, okay, we built it together. We can fix it together. We've done so in the past. Power supplies die and died, and my dad and I have fixed it. So, brought it home to him, and... Um, he quickly surmised that it seemed like it was the power supply that had died. So, all right, uh, he orders a new one. A uh, week goes by. We touch back, touch back together, and uh, we, put, we, get a new, we get a new power supply. Plug it in, put it in, turn on the power, turn on the power supply, press the button. Nothing. Just test the old one again. Plug it in, put it in, turn on the power, turn on the power supply, press the button. Yet again, nothing. Okay, so apparently it's, uh, at the very least, it's not just the power supply that's the problem. So, um, a little else to do. Uh, I head home, my dad does a little research, does a little digging, uh, touch base, and uh, he's uh, browsed some forums and found that the issue may possibly be related to either the motherboard or the CPU may be the problem. Because uh, he found some sort of test, something I referred to as the paperclip test, which... Upon first hearing that, I'm like, you're not shocking yourself to make sure the power supply is working, right? Like, no, not not exactly. Okay, I'll accept it. But, because uh, apparently both power supplies passed the paper clip test. So the old power supply and the new power supply both are working. Very strange. So, uh, apparently it's either a motherboard or a CPU. Um, decided to go with, uh, try and uh, fix, uh, try and replace the motherboard first. Uh, so we got the old box and the motherboard came in and ordered a new one. Another week goes by. Motherboard has come in. So we get the motherboard all set up and realize, wait, CPU we have isn't fitting in the new motherboard. Let me see that box again. Oops, wrong box. <laughs> this was a box to a different motherboard, not the one I currently had. And apparently the motherboard we ordered was an older one where the CPU did not fit in it. Uh, now, I don't know my hardware all that well, um, so I don't know exactly if there's a, a model number or a serial number. I assume a model number, but I know that the one we had, I think, ended in 50, and the one we needed was to, was to end in 51. Well, you know, we've ordered a new power supply, or a new motherboard. Might as well just order a new CPU at this point. So, another week goes by. CPU arrives, and this takes us to, I think, last week, um, or this past week. Head over to my dad's place, uh, my parents' place. We get the computer all set up, uh, the motherboard in, uh, CPU installed in the motherboard. We start plugging everything back in. Um, couple, couple things are a little bit different than the old motherboard. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with how the uh, motherboard and the cords work, but uh, on the motherboard there are different pins, which you can think of as like the pins that go into an electrical outlet. Um, only in this case, they're kind of plugging the outlet into the pins. Uh, the different cords that are in the computer are basically like the outlet, and you plug that onto the pins. Um, apparently, between the two motherboards, the uh, the one, the old one that we had and the one we had ordered, apparently had different setups, different layups, layouts. Um, most concerning one was I I can't remember if it was the CPU power or the CPU fan. But it had a four, it had a eight pin on the old system, but in the new one it only has four. Those supposedly the uh, the eight prong outlet thing that plugs in can can split up. It's designed to split up into four if you, if it has to. Um, but a couple other things couldn't uh, the uh, front panel USB 
could not plug in because the, there was one pin missing in the wrong spot. Okay, I'm getting too much detail. But certain outlets didn't plug in the way they used to on the old motherboard, but we plugged in the ones that we needed to. So got it all plugged in, got it all set up, power supply is all, all good to go. Turn on the power, press the button, uh, turn the power supply on, press the button, and the computer boots up for about six seconds. And then it turns itself back off again. Uh, we even had a monitor plugged in and nothing appeared on the monitor. Great. Now we're at OED. So, did a little digging again. Found a possible solution. Uh, there's apparently a uh, jumper switch in the, the on the motherboard that seemingly what might be the problem was the BIOS, uh, which is usually what happens when you start up your computer and you see all the, the, the text and the code and everything on the screen. Um, apparently some of that run, something might have been, it might have been in a, a loop or something and it wasn't starting up. So the, the answer was a, uh, I believe it's called a jumper. I had the name, but it's now, it's now left me. It's a jumper or something, but it, it basically, I think it's supposed to reset. A jumper reset. A reset jumper? I think it's a reset jumper. It's a reset, it's a jumper switch or reset? I forget. But in any case, that was our possible solution. Uh, now, we didn't have the jumper thing that we needed to connect to, but my dad had a screwdriver, so he used that to connect the two things together. We turned the computer on. It did a whole six-second cycling thing. Took the uh, screwdriver away. It's still not working. So we're at a little bit of a bind here. Um, but my dad went online and he found a bundle for both a motherboard, CPU, and memory, uh, RAM memory, a uh, whole bundle together, which in this case we wouldn't be Frankenstein, uh, putting together, uh, no Frankenstein monster, uh, PC this time. This time we'd have, because the, the components we had were, the motherboard was older than the, the motherboard I had, and, uh, the power supply was for a different company and stuff, so we figured, okay, you know what, maybe if we get this bundle, it'll all work together. If not, then the last option, the last problem might be this, uh, the power switch itself might be shorting out somewhere. Um, honestly, something shorting out sounds like it would just stop working right then and there, but uh, I'm, again, my, uh, my expertise relies in software rather than hardware. My dad's more of an expert that way, but in any case, um, we're, we've ordered another uh, another set with a motherboard, CPU, memory, and everything. We're going to try and put that in when it comes in, um, and we'll see what happens. So it's going to be another week. Uh, gives me time to come up with another question. So that's where we're sitting at right now. Again, the motherboard will uh, the computer will turn on uh, for about six seconds, and then it turns itself off again. Because then later it tries to turn back on again, and it keeps looping over and over again. Is currently where we're at. Um, it's progress. Uh, it's actually now turning on this time instead of just doing nothing. So, progress? Question mark? <laughs> I feel a little more confident in our results if all the things plugged in the way they were supposed to. But, what are you going to do? So, anyways, it's going to be at least another week here before Auction Non-Clue comes back. But, uh, in the meantime, question of the week, I guess. Um, don't read into it too much, but uh, basically... What's something in uh, that you do that you think no one notices, but they would absolutely notice if you either stopped doing it or you weren't there to do it anymore? Um, it's going to be either a good thing or a bad thing. Just something that you think no one in the group notices, but they would absolutely notice if you weren't doing it anymore. Uh, for example, uh, so I work at a hotel. Um, we have a, a, a dining room there. And as such, one of the benefits of working at the hotel is a pot fried employee meals. Um... And I've always thought, you know, every department at the hotel, the housekeeping staff, the maintenance staff, the dining room staff, and of course the front desk, we all interact with the guests that come through the hotel. We all have a chance to interact with them and in the case of when it's deserved, be thanked by them. The kitchen, however, I feel is the one department that doesn't. Uh, you know, uh, you have your occasional, my compliments to the chef, but you know, you don't really get a direct interaction with the guests. So I've always thought, you know, the kitchen's the one place that doesn't get thanked by our guests. So whenever I go down to get my meal, I always make sure I thank them. Um, even if there's no one there, if my food's just sitting up there, I call into the void, thank you, just and you know, maybe someone will hear me. I, I mean, I, I know that it's not something that goes un, 
notice because they absolutely notice. They they say, uh, "You're welcome," and I seem appreciative of it. But uh, that's a little something that I feel like I do that I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. But yeah, um, what's something you guys do that you feel people maybe don't notice or don't pay as much attention to or take for granted that you feel would be missing if you didn't do it anymore? Anyways, um, that's got a little heavy, but uh, anyways, I, I'm really hopeful that the computer will be fixed next week, because if not, we're going on two months without the computer. There's only so much I can do in two months. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hopefully get that uh, fixed next week. Hopefully you guys will stick around and I'll see you next week. But in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.